of the family and the members of the community. You know. Back on the street for so many days, though. Why, why, why haven't you come forward, you know, to speak your truth, to, to let us hear what's on your mind? Okay, well, let me say, um, you know, after being away for so long, for so many years, one would need some time to talk, like, to feel back the energy, to get back, to mix the society, you know, to get that feeling back. Well, finally we are here now, so... Yeah. Yeah. Any form of anger, you know, when you sit and look back, you know, so many years out of your life, you know, spent behind bars, any form of frustration? Well, frustration. It was a frustrating time of my life, yes. Most, most frustrating part of my life, you know. But we're here today, it's still focused, it's still mentally firm. So, um, I just say it's a part of life and it's an experience one would never want to encounter again. But um, we're here, we've learned from it, and we're here to you know, paint a better picture as we go forward in life. Mm -hmm. So, where do you go from here? Uh, from here. I think I'll start by making the right decisions, motivating, motivating the youth, you know, in the right future, you know. In the past, you know, do you think you were misunderstood, you know, um, you know, the police, we have heard reports that you know, they would have gone out to paint a bad picture of you. Why, 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 why do you think that is so? Well, I can't say specifically, but let me just say that I told you I was right to you. How we, so? We spoke and the interview, the first interview, and I told you I was an innocent, I was an innocent man. I told you I was wrong to be accused. But it speaks for itself, the justice, I must applaud the justice system for, you know, for the tremendous work in getting it right. I learned that we just hear it's nice to be free and it's a nice feeling being free but it's also messed up to be free and still be harassed by the system when you say harassed talk to me about that harassing harassment comes on like whichever car they know that Affiliates, you know, whichever car that attaches to us, like the vehicles that we are attached to, that I'm attached to, they normally get pulled over more than once. A lot of times now since I'm home, even with the kids in the vehicle, especially a vehicle that they see that is being occupied by my baby mother. You know, they traumatize the kids after they don't know why. I'm not free and they're still harassing Are you afraid though? You know, based on what you're seeing and how they're acting, you know, are, are you in fear? In fear. At times. At times. You know, at times I'm fearful based on a certain environment or environments that I, I, I have to go to so at times. I'm fearful that without the presence of you know, um, elders are, you know, suitable like elders. I think things, you know, I'm fearful that in those spaces and times, things could go wrong and will go wrong because 